Brethren in Christ, Laudato Jesus Christus in Sequila. This is Timothy Flanders at the Meaning of Catholic. Jesus is King. Happy Feast of Our Lady of Victory, Our Lady of the Rosary, the patroness of this apostolate, Our Lady of Victory Press, LLC. Today I am going on a pilgrimage to a special Marian shrine, as it were, to dedicate this apostolate to Our Lady of Victory. And I'm here with Our Lady of Covadonga here. This is Our Lady of Covadonga. She's behind my head in the broadcast, so you usually can't see her, but this is Our Lady of Covadonga. And Co Our Lady of Covadonga was who, she was the apparition to Palayo that began the Reconquista way back in the 700s. And uh, above me is the army of Flan the um, banner of Flanders. <clears throat> and the army of Flanders is the Hispanic army, the international Hispanic army, which fought against the Dutch heretics under the patronage of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception because of the, the miracle of Empel. And this apostolate is dedicated in the same militant spirit of Our Lady to Our Lady of Victory because she united Catholics against the enemies of Holy Church at a time in 1570 when Christendom was fracturing and the difficulty of calling a crusade. It was one thing, you know, the Army of Flanders was, was a, it was an international army, but it was under the aegis of the King of Spain. And so there was already a, sort of a very temporal consideration here. Uh, but Our Lady of Victory is brought together Christendom at a time when Christendom was fracturing. Even the Catholics were at odds with each other. You had the King of France in rebellion to a great degree to the Council of Trent. Um, the, um, the papacy was very much, at least later on especially, uh, a rival to the King of Spain. The King of Spain, the Emperor Charles V, had come and sacked Rome previous to this. Um, so it's a very critical moment and Our Lady of Victory is obviously um, connected to Our Lady of Guadalupe as well because Don Juan affixes the ships at Lepanto with Our Lady of Guadalupe and they pray the rosary. So all of these factors have, have, um, are what uh, give us the confidence that Our Lady of Victory to obtain the graces to fulfill our mission, which is to unite Catholics against the enemies of Holy Church. And um, so I'm going on pilgrimage, and I, this video will, in full, will be available to the guild members. Um, but in this video, we're t we'll, talk about, um, we'll talk about Our Lady of Victory, and we'll talk about the Apostolate. We'll talk about the aims of this Apostolate. We'll talk about the Constitution of the Apostolate, which, has been, which will be released publicly soon. We'll discuss that. Uh, we'll also talk about the Rosary. We'll talk about the controversy of the Luminous Mysteries. Um, and so we'll be discussing these things, but let's start with a prayer to Our Lady of Victory. One of our apostolate members just sent this to me. So now we're in the car, so we're about to take off, pray sext, um, pray the Angelus. And um, we're, gonna we're gonna start with this prayer to Our Lady of Victory, uh, which providentially Michael Botigi just sent me. Uh, he's one of our members of the Apostolate. So this video will be my whole journey on the, the pilgrimage. And um, guild members will get the whole story. Um, but in this, we'll talk all about different things about the Apostolate, talk about the meaning of these things um, that informs the Constitution about what we do at Meaning of Catholic. And... Um, you'll get to hear a speech that I will do uh, in front of a church, a very large church that's rather famous right now. Um, you'll, you'll see the, the Marian Shrine that I'm going to as well. That'll be revealed, obviously, in due time. Um, and we'll see also a, a beautiful uh, Catholic project in this great city um, that I'll be going uh, to. Um, so 
I'm really excited to take this journey. Um, I think that pilgrimages, we need to start doing more pilgrimages. Pilgrimages are a penitential act, which is offered to God. because it, it costs you something. You're sacrificing things. You're, um, you know, you're paying money to do it. You're spending your time. It's an arduous journey, perhaps. Um, and we need to be doing more pilgrimages in, in, our, in our penances. We need to re return to this great practice of our forefathers. So this is my little effort to try to do that on Our Lady of Victory to this Marian shrine. And so I hope you like it. Let's start with the prayer to Our Lady of Victory. In nomine Patris, et Fili, Spiritu Sancti, Amen. O victorious lady, thou who is ever such powerful influence by the divine Son in conquering the hardest of hearts, intercede for those for whom we pray, that their hearts being softened by the ways of divine grace, they may return to the unity of the true faith, through Christ our Lord, Amen. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Mary, Queen of the Home, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons, pray for us. Saint Anthony of the Desert, pray for all clergy and seminarians. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Uh, it's a beautiful prayer because it really showcases how how is Our Lady militant? How does she? How do we hope to conquer the enemies of Holy Church? It is by the softening of their hearts by the divine grace, and we can only do that by offering up penance. And by God's grace, we can merit the graces for sinners. And that's why it's so critically important that the Catholic response to, to sin is to offer reparation and penance. That is, and, and through Our Lady, Our Lady who is the softener of evil hearts, this is, there's this beautiful akathist. Uh, an akathist is, an, is a, an, a Greek uh, custom. It is a, a, it is a um, very long chant called an akathist, and there's many different akathists, um, and there's an akathist to Our Lady, softener of evil, evil hearts, and because Our Lady is the softener of evil hearts, and so that is, she is the one who, whom we need in our militant struggle against the enemies of Holy Church, so that we, we may not fight with temporal weapons and fall into hatred and jealousies and strivings after the, the manner of men, because then we will be overcome by the fallen angels. But we need to fight with the power of the cross through Our Lady, and in that way, we conquer evil hearts through Our Lady. So, we begin our journey. All right, we're on the road, heading to the pilgrimage destination. Uh, this Marian shrine is a very special icon of Our Lady that is very mysterious, in fact. The, the origins of this icon, the origins of the original image, I should say, the original image is quite mysterious, as far as I know. Um, but this particular icon, which is just an icon of that famous image, is... Is, uh, it's not Our Lady of Victory per se, but it does involve very militant, another m militant Marian spirit. And it's particularly powerful for, for me personally because this image was a critical part of my conversion from Eastern Orthodoxy to Roman Catholicism. Um, and my parish also has an icon of this image um, and um, this particular one is is in this special Catholic city that I'm going to um, but it, it is particularly special as well uh, it, more special than ours probably but um, so we'll talk all about that and why this image in particular is so important for me personally and why it, how it relates to Our Lady of Victory and the mission of uh, our apostolate in this militant Marian spirit. Um, and we'll, we'll get all the way there. So uh, this is the end of the public broadcast version, uh, the free version of the whole trip. Um, so if you want to hear the whole story and hear more about the apostolate and come with me on this whole pilgrimage, 
hear my speech to the church and everything, uh, you have to become a guild member. Now, we are in need of funds at the Apostolate. That's why we're doing this. So uh, your support helps the Apostolate and it also allows us to give free membership to the poor. So if anybody is poor, they, they can't afford to be a member, $5 a month, $10 a month, whatever. They can't afford that. We can always give free membership. So when you support us, it also helps us support other people as well. And that's what the guild is all about because the guild is all about us helping each other internationally on the internet and building this virtual community, this guild, so that we can then take the virtual community and incarnate that community into the the local parish and our, our local communities. So that's the that's the goal of Meaning of Catholic. It's the goal of Our Lady of Victory Press LLC, and it's the goal of all our online groups: the the guild, the online guild, the domestic church group, the ladies group, the men's group, and my personal favorite, the Fellowship of Saint Anthony, which offers up penance for clergy. So, with all that. You have to become a guild member if you want the full story, but that is it for now. Okay, we were going to go to two libraries on our way, but I forgot that one of them is closed. We've got one hold, which is the Documents of Vatican II, which has a very important document that is seems to be hard to find, which is the Vatican II Letter to the World, which was published at the insistence of some of the Nouvelle Théologie Ressourcement people. Uh, as this olive branch of medicine of mercy, which was, cond it was criticized by Archbishop Lefebvre. Um, at the, there was very opening of the council, though, the very, very first week, which the 60th anniversary happens tomorrow, or sorry, next week, next week Tuesday, is the, the 60th anniversary of the opening of Vatican II. Um, so I was going to get this message to the world, um, because I couldn't find it online. I don't know where you can find this. But um, that library is closed. I forgot that one's closed on Fridays. So we got to go to the other library to print out the materials that we need for the speech that I'm going to give. All right, so we got our printing, the printing for the speech and everything later tonight. Very thankful to my library for such quality printing that's free. Uh, there's some beautiful... Michigan uh, colors, beautiful fall Michigan colors. Oh, I can't switch this. Okay, well, fall is happening soon in Michigan. It's it's just starting, but the colors are, are coming up. Further north in Michigan, especially the UP, it's already in full bloom. It's beautiful right now. So let's continue the pilgrimage. You can join the guild by becoming a Patreon subscriber, patreon.com slash Catholic. You can also make a one-time donation if you prefer, meaningofcatholic.com, and go click on donate up top. You can also send me an email if you can't afford it or if you want to make some other arrangement, meaningofcatholic.com slash contact. God bless.